Hey guys, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share my first ever panorama card. Look at how dimensional and cool this is. I followed a tutorial by Slim Cards, Shonda. Shonda makes the coolest, most fun, interactive, fun fold card. So if you guys don't know her, you have to go check her out. And she had a tutorial up on how to design a panorama card like this. And I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And I finally got a chance to create this card that's actually for my parents celebrating their lives together. I colored up all the images participating in the Daily Markers 30 Day Coloring Challenge. And when I first colored all of the critters up, I really didn't know what I wanted to make with all of them. But I knew that if I kept kind of the color palette consistent, that I would be able to create something with it. And just yesterday, I finally put this all together and then realized that this is the perfect card for my parents because this little couple, which I think is supposed to be Elvis and Lisa Marie, <laughs> could represent my parents. All the dogs in the band could represent my siblings, me, and our spouses. And the three little lawn fawn birds up there could represent the grandkids. So the Elvis and Lisa Marie are from this adorable stamp set called Burning Love from Sweet Stamp Shop. This little Elvis and Lisa Marie are so stinking cute. I did alter the Lisa Marie. I just cut away the veil because I think this is supposed to be for her Viva Las Vegas wedding. <laughs> so I just cut that away. And for Elvis, I kind of just left him the way he was. The only thing I did was because of the dog band, I put in their hands little microphones. So you can see I just doodled and fussy cut out little microphones so they could be singing. This set is so stinking cute. It's from Mama Elephant and it's called Rock and Paws. And my sweet friend Dorothy Jewell gifted this set to me and I used all of the dogs in the stamp set, except I did change this foxy dog. I inked up the stamp and then I wiped away the little trumpet area before I stamped it out. And then I, I just doodled back in the arm. And for that doodling, I used a Copic multi-liner pen because this is Copic or alcohol marker safe. So you can color that up without worrying about bleeding. I did that just because I figured a trumpet really doesn't belong in like a rock band. So I made this one a little dancer. And just for a little extra something something, I put both of these two front dogs <laughs> on DIY action wobbles. And if you're interested in how to make action wobbles, I will try to link to a tutorial that I did way back when on how to make that. It's really easy just with a little spring that you can make with wire. And then lastly, for these little birds, I use the Lawn Fawn Winter Sparrows. And all I did to change them up into kind of more singing birds is I added, I mean, this one has earmuffs, but I decided that also looked like headphones for singers that are recording. So I added little headphones to <laughs> this little guy here and also this little guy here. So these winter sparrows are backup singers. <laughs> As for the papers I used for this background, I use this old doodling around stack that I've had in my stash for like four or five years. I and I thought that the stars, the glittery stars background would be perfect for kind of this Americana look. Then for all of the stars, I used the Lawn Fawn Puffy Star Stackables. And I used that with gold foiled cardstock that I picked up recently using a 50% off coupon at Joann's. That paper stack doesn't have a red but I had one piece of red foil cardstock left over that was gifted to me by Paige, who's Stamp Girl here on YouTube. And I just decided to use a heart die from Diamond Dies. And then when I finished die cutting that out for the couple, I realized the red wasn't carried throughout the card. I mean, there's some red in this background paper, but I decided I was gonna try and make little heart notes, like musical notes. So what I did was I used the Lawn Fawn Stitch Journaling Card Hearts. It's just like a little row of hearts. And I used the CC Designs Music Border, which has notes on it. 
And I just cut away all of the kind of staff or bar around the musical um, border. And I individually glued together hearts and little notes and sprinkled them kind of throughout the panorama card background. And that's really it. Now I'll go ahead and share with you guys the construction of the panorama card. First of all, I want to say that if you want a clear instruction on how to construct the panorama card, I'm going to link in the description box below Shonda's great tutorial that I followed. I'm showing you my construction only because I changed the dimensions somewhat. And I also wanted to share with you guys what I did differently just because the design of my card was a little bit different. So the background piece, I cut four and a half inches by six inches, and this is the long side here. And then I cut a slit right at the middle point at the three inches. And I cut that at about two and an eighth inch high from the bottom. So you have that. And then for the accordion pieces in the middle that create that pop out section, you need four two inch by four inch pieces and you score each one of them along one inch and the three inch points along the long side. And I'm not gonna go to the trouble of actually scoring, I'm just gonna fold along these lines just to give you a sense of the construction, how to put it together. You can see I'm just using scratch paper here. The next step is to take two of these middle pieces and line them up so that you can put some adhesive just on one side of one of those score marks. I'm just gonna use quick Elmer's glue just to give you guys the idea. Now you're gonna repeat the process with the other two middle pieces. And now you can see how these middle pieces are connected to each other and next I'm going to show you how they are attached to that background piece. You're going to take the back wing or back panel of one of these and tuck it into that middle section of the background and you'll just add a little bit of adhesive there to attach the other side of that scored area of that back panel and glue that to the background and then you'll repeat the process with the right set of wings of that accordion middle section and add again glue to that little back panel of the scored area and glue that to the background. Now you'll see that the accordion is taking shape and you'll see how those are folded back, the front two scored sections, and now you can take your front piece which measures four inches by four and a quarter and that will get glued right to those front little folded back sections of that middle accordion piece. Now I took this front panel and because I die cut a heart to put on top of this front panel, I ended up fussy cutting around the top side of this front panel just with some scissors around the die cut area so that it would kind of hug the heart that's die cut and put on front. Now I'm just going to show you guys where you put your adhesive on those two folded back front pieces and then you glue that front panel into place. Now I'm just making sure that that front panel is aligned at the bottom so that it will stand up straight and here you can see as I lift it up that the construction is almost complete. You just need to take the two wing pieces on the left and right, mine measure three inches by two and a half inches and those will get attached to the middle accordion pieces, the tab sections that are um, sticking out. And you'll just glue those right into place after putting adhesive right up to those score lines on both sides. You repeat exactly the same thing. And then again, I made some alterations to the card construction because I wanted the two stars on the either side of the panorama card to look like they're more kind of jutting out, free floating almost. So I'm just cutting away the base card construction at the bottom, just cutting away two of the triangles because I'll be able to put the die cut stars at the top right there and it will look like the stars are kind of jutting out, floating out from the panorama card sides. 
And that's really it for the panorama card-based construction. If you want to know the traditional measurements, please go check out Shonda's tutorial, which I will link to below. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day.